happy Sal Wayne. This is Quinn with PTSD While Black. Um, just doing a quick check-in with where I am physically. Uh, today I helped my mother-in-law do a, a children's show, a balloon show, and I'm super excited to share with you that I was able to do two hours of balloons without being in severe physical pain. It only took me an hour and a half to where I was able to walk again. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't have to lay down or nothing. I just had to take a lot of Tylenol and use a TENS unit on my back. But I was able to walk after the show, so yay! And doing the show today taught me something very important. Number one, I need a job. Having physical disabilities has really hurt me emotionally. Um, and the PTSD makes it hard for me to be able to to like know, oh my gosh, am I going to be triggered by being powerless over whatever situations I'm dealing with? Um, so being able to do some work to help somebody out really made me feel like I had purpose again. So I need to recover so I can get a job. I, um, I think I have a review with my doctor in November to see what she can, what or, or what I can be cleared to do. Keep your fingers crossed because this woman wants to work. Um, oh, speaking of that, this, the whole reason for making this video is I decided I want to be an accredited speaker. I want to be a motivational speaker. And in Toastmasters, I can be an accredited speaker if I do 25, or is it 20 paid gigs? No, 15 paid gigs and I think a total of 20 or 25 speaking engagements. The 25 speaking engagements, 15 have to be paid. That's what it is. Um, and I have to do it in three years, a course of three years. But that felt like, wow, I have some motivation or some purpose. So my husband had the wonderful idea. He's like, you could do magic. So I can do 20 minute magic shows and use that towards my credit of becoming an accredited speaker. And I want to, yay, I can do motivational magic. Whee! Um, so I'm excited because I feel like I have some purpose while I'm still recovering is that I can start writing speeches. I can start learning new magic routines and putting them to the speeches that I'm doing. And so it's like, oh my gosh, I have um, a direction. I can be useful in this life. And that I don't have to let my my trauma or physical limitations stop me from being of service and useful. So, yay! Had to share that. Had to share that. So it's like, that's the gift I got this Halloween. <laughs> um, yeah. Physically, still taking time. Still taking time. Like, I can't look left for long periods of time. Like, more than five or 10 minutes looking left is like painful, but, um, I'm starting to get where I can stand a little longer and not be in such severe pain. So excited. The real test will be tonight when I go to sleep to find out if I can move my feet in the morning, but yeah, so far it seems good. Right. At the moment it feels better than it has in the past. Um, so I'm hoping to be well. Um, Keep me in your good thoughts that Quinn gets better so that she can go and be a productive member of society or whatever. Anyway, guess what character I was for Halloween? When we were doing balloons, a lot of kids were dressed up as Batman, but they let me go ahead and twist them a balloon anyway. So that was fun. God. Um, yeah. Life is good. Even if it's not the way that I expect it to be, life is good. Well, my cats are going insane behind me. <laughs> so I think this is a good time to end the video. I hope that you had a happy Halloween. Um, a safe and happy Halloween. And May you connect with what matters most to you in this life and to find new purpose for yourselves. Okay, till next time. Peace.